As we start setting up your WordPress website, it's going to be helpful for you to understand some of the WordPress lingo before you get started. So let's take a look at some of that terminology now. Let's start off with the WordPress dashboard. This is the dashboard that you will see once you have WordPress set up on your host. This is where you're going to log in to create new content and to customize your entire website. Shortly, we're going to walk through the WordPress dashboard so that you understand all of the parts. Next is a WordPress theme, which is essentially the template of your website. It gives you the look and feel of your website, including the navigation, the layout, and such. A plugin is a quick and easy way to add functionality to your website. This is where creating a website really gets exciting. A plugin is simply an add-on that you can install on your site, such as a calendar, a Facebook like box, a newsletter sign up box, and so much more. There are literally thousands of plugins available, and there are both free and paid plugins for you to choose from. Now, WordPress has both pages and posts, and that can be a little bit confusing at first, so let's clarify that. Pages are meant for static pages, meaning content that doesn't change, such as your About Us page, FAQs page, a Services page, a Contact page, etc. Now, posts, on the other hand, are used on a blog. Posts are typically displayed in reverse chronological order and are also displayed in the RSS feed of the blog. Now, posts you can separate into categories, unlike pages. So let's say you have a web design blog. You might want to create separate categories if you are going to talk about WordPress features, and then you're going to talk about Joomla features, and another one about marketing your website. You can separate those into categories so that you can display them in different areas of your website. Now, widgets are functions that display on the sidebar of your website and sometimes actually within the content of your website, depending on what you're trying to do. Widgets can be dragged and dropped within the dashboard to appear where you would like to see them. And WordPress has pre-installed widgets available, such as a custom menu, list of categories, a list of recent comments or posts, and, and a lot more. And you typically would do that when you go to install a plugin. So this is just a very quick overview of some of the most common WordPress lingo, and we're going to dive specifically into each one of those so you understand them fully in this series. So stay tuned.